It's just nice being able to step on set and step into these environments and at least feel like you're in a position to believe in it, you know, and, and, and uh, it's one of the many things that Alejandro put in place for us that um, helped to, it, it meant that we had to kind of uh, make believe less and, 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 and it meant for a, a realer, more kind of immersive experience, you know. Um, we really were kind of uh, reacting to the elements and, and to the various things that you, you see us go through in the film. The way in which this movie is shot, as I mentioned before, is very unique. Um, I've never had to perform so intimately with the camera before. I've never had to introduce the camera's presence in my consciousness so much and, and tailor what I did and tailor the choices I make as an actor to how the camera moves. You know, um, Chivo, uh, the DOP, and Alejandro are nothing short of geniuses when it comes to, um, you know, moving image and, and um, cinematography. And so I was starstruck by them and, 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 and hugely excited at the prospect of working with them in that regard and, and, and collaborating with them in that sense. But it is, it is a really tough challenge, you know, to arrive on set and feel like you know how you're going to play something and then, oh, I, 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 I can't stand up at that point or I can't turn around in that instance or I have to walk that slowly, you know? It's, it's all these things that you have to kind of build in and factor in and, and still feel as though you're not acting and, and, and you still, you know, believe yourself. It's, 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 that's been possibly the toughest thing. One of the things that he wanted to draw from Bridger, perhaps more than, than, than some of the other characters, was this idea of innocence, you know. Um, this innocence in Bridger that would present itself in some of the toughest situations, the life and death situations that guys like Fitz, guys like Glass, guys like Henry can cope with. Um, Bridger's innocence, his naivety, just his immaturity, um, would manifest itself as, you know, um, would manifest itself as weakness at time, in times, you know, uh, weakness in, in scenarios where he really had to step up and become a man. And you, I guess the, what Alejandro wanted was to try and see uh, this conflict within Bridger, the, the boy and the man, trying to, you know, stifle his emotions and, and, and uh, his fears and try and do the right thing as a man, you know, try and really grow up um, in an instant to survive.